In this video, we are going to discuss one more example related to even and odd component of a signal which we uh, classified under classification of signals. So now here the problem is like this, trace the even and odd component of the signal x of t is equivalent to cos t plus sin t plus cos t into sin t plus sin square t. So, if you give them for uh, calculating even and odd component of a signal, generally how you will follow, so how you will process the steps, you know the equation for even and odd component, generally even component equation is x of t is equivalent to x of t plus x of minus t divided by 2 and odd component equation is x of t is equivalent to x of t minus x of minus t divided by 2. But to calculate the value of even component and co odd component by this process when this type of problems are given that is very typical that means we need to substitute all x of minus t and we need to consider addition and we need to half that. So simply one trick is there to get even and odd component first of all in the given sum or in the given combination you need to trace which individual is even and which individual are odd. All even components are summed together will get a uh, uh, even component. All odd uh, subparts are clubbed together we can form odd component. You can see you can observe. So I want to write x e of t first. So for this to write x e of t that means even component of x of t we want the even parts of that given signal. So you can observe cos t this cos t is even or odd you know that cos t is even why because if you substituted minus t in place of t also cos of minus theta is equal to cos theta only. So that is why this is even. So now I am just marking even and odd this is even I am just representing with E. So now coming to sin t this is even signal or odd signal we already discussed in even and odd function sin t is a odd function why because sin of minus theta that means in place of t if you substituted minus t to derive x of minus t you are going to get minus sin theta then it will satisfy the relation of x of t equal to minus x of minus t. So this is odd function. So now coming to here cos t is sin function uh, cos t is even function but sin t is odd function that means so cos t is uh, even function sin t is odd function means multiplication of those two will uh, provide you odd function please keep in mind even though you are getting um, positive here when you substituted minus t in place of t here you are going to get minus. So that is why total uh, function will become so odd function only. So here this is also odd function. Coming to sin square t do not treat that as sin t whole square. There is a much difference between sin t whole square that means so sin t whole square is different and sin square t is different. So sin t whole square means sin t into sin t but here sin square t is nothing but 1 minus cos 2 t by t. So this is sin square t. Now if we are having sin square t then we need to keep in mind about 1 minus cos 2 t by 2. This is 1 by 2 minus cos 2 t by 2. 1 by 2 is a constant we won't calculate that. So here whatever cos 2 t by 2 is there so cos 2 t is a even signal again. So here you are going to get even. So now this signal is not odd even though that is indicated in sign. So because of sin square so that is equivalent to 1 minus cos 2t by 2 definitely if you applied that formula if you applied x of minus t function also you are going to get even function. So now we know in our combination what are the even and what are the odd components. By adding all even components in the given combination we are going to get the even component. By adding all odd components in our signal we are going to get the odd component. So here so simply x e of t equal to cos t plus sin square t. So this is even component value. So now x of t odd component of 
x of t is equal to by adding odd components all combinations of odd components if we, uh, if we added we are going to get odd component of the given signal. So, now here sin t is odd and cos t sin t is also odd. So, totally we calculated even and odd components of the signal x of t without having this uh, particular equations. So, like this we need to solve the equations or solve the problems related to even and odd components.